Hey, what's up? John Sonmez from SimpleProgrammer.com. So I got a question that I was, I've been delaying answering because it's, it's such a large question and I don't know if I can do it justice in, in a single video. So what I'm going to do is just answer this question and I'll probably answer it again, right? In a different way, in a different form as I, as I tend to do in these videos because there's always one more answer. There's always one other way to look at things and you often gain perspective by choosing different models in which to look at the world and and often I've found that different models of looking at the world work for different people especially at different different times in their life so with that said I'm gonna answer the question of what are the ingredients for success so this is, of course, a broad question, right? I mean, and, and I suppose it's somewhat subjective. Like, what are the actual ingredients that you need in life for success? And I've talked about some of these before, of course. But, you know, if I had to boil this down, what, what is the thing? You know, what is it that you need? What is the right combination, the right formula that you need to be successful? So I, I think you kind of got to start by talking about what defines success. I did this video on on white male privilege. <laughs> so many people got butt hurt about that. But the thing is like a lot of people didn't understand it because they, they still didn't understand it, even though I explained this, is that success, right, is not it's not money. Not necessarily, right? It's not power. Not necessarily. Right? It's not the world doesn't define for you what success is for you. And I think a lot of people have real trouble understanding that. And that's why, you know, I'm not going to go too far off topic, but that's why trying to say that someone is advantage or disadvantage is so difficult and such a ridiculous thing to do because you have to define success for that person and come up with a global definition of success in order to to be able to do that. So, with that said, I, I suppose that I should come up with a global definition of, of success. Well, <laughs> I'm gonna come up with a global definition that has a, a localized version for each of us, which is basically this, that success is essentially maximizing your potential, right? And the reason why, or not necessarily maximizing it, but being on the path to doing it, right? It's success is growth. Right? We experience the most joy and fulfillment out of life when we're growing in some area. That's why we become addicted to games like World of Warcraft, right? Is because we're gaining levels, right? I mean, if you look at some of the most successful addictive formats of games, they're, they're games where you have growth, where you're, where you're progressing, right? Now, the thing is, progressing in a game is not really success because it's not really... Uh, you're not really gaining anything from that, right? I mean, you, you're not actually improving your life. You're not actually changing anything, right? You're, you're, you're actually avoiding reality and having sort of a, a fake success, a false success. But that same trigger, uh, you know, exists in you. So I think that's a good place to define success. And you could define it in multiple ways, but that's a good place to start is to say that success is, is, is achieving the path to realize your full potential, right? To be on that path of growth. So in order to do that, there is definitely a few ingredients that I think are really important. Now, one of them is persistence, right? You, it takes a long time. It takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of effort in order to do that. And it's not, it's not easy, right? You have to keep going. You have to keep on keeping on even though the path is hard even though things are difficult right and a lot of people have a lot of difficulty in doing that it's hard it is not easy to keep going so persistence especially this in spite of failure especially in the face of failure is extremely extremely important and like I said most people lack that so you've got to have that piece now persistence alone is not enough because you could be persisting down the wrong path and that's called being stubborn. So you've got to have some degree of wisdom. 
I believe. And, and wisdom is one of those weird things. I did this video about wisdom. And, you know, I've got different views on, on what is wisdom. But wisdom is, is more than common sense. It's the ability to sort of see patterns and to be able to take knowledge and be able to apply that knowledge. And that usually comes from experience and not just experience, but a reflective experience where you're actually learning from the mistakes and the failures that you have along the way or learning from other people's mistakes. It's a careful study. It's an introspective sort of study about yourself and human nature and that produces wisdom. But with wisdom combined with persistence, you can alter your path, right? So that you're not continually going down uh, the, the wrong direction, right? And, and continually banging your head against the wall. You, you look for a new way, a new thing to do, uh, a new door that you can open. Along with persistence and wisdom, you have to have consistency, okay? Consistency is, is being, is, is not fluctuating from day to day as far as your commitment and what you're doing. And, you know, consistency plus persistence, they, those things combined together are extremely powerful because that allows you to have the cumulative effect. That allows you, there's a good book called The Cumulative Effect, which you should read, by the way, uh, but that allows you to basically make a little bit of progress each day and then move the ball forward a little by little by little, and that adds up over time. And you can't have that unless you're, you're consistent because you got to write every day or do your study every single day or run every day or work out every day or stick to your diet every day and you have to be persistent because it takes a long amount of time for that uh, to to happen <laughs> to see the results of that so i think those are sort of the, the core the core pieces right if you if you've got those attributes that's that's going to help you the most to be able to maximize your potential to be on that path and to to, to reach uh, success and you know you can define those in a lot of different different ways I did this video where I talked about you know one of the most important things that you needed was grit right and you can you can see or or not grit but I called it the ability to grind right because life is a grind because so much of success involves a grind you got to be able to do things that are boring right and be able to continually do them even though you're tired even though you don't necessarily see progress right and you've got to keep on going you got to trust the process okay I, I guess I would say that there's one more one more piece which is to to build in yourself a high threshold for pain or inconvenience. I think if you can do that, if you can, and, and that's another big one that can you can see it in different ways, right? It could be overcoming fears. It could be making yourself uncomfortable, right? Watch my my talk, uh, my five soft skills talk, where I talk about how you grow through becoming un, uncomfortable. And you know, and it, and it could be physical pain. It could be because sometimes when you're recording videos, your arm hurts a lot from holding the camera up, but you gotta keep on doing it. Anyway, until you're done with that video on success, if you wanna be successful, right? But you've gotta be able to withstand some kind of discomfort, some kind of pain, right? And if you create anything in the world, if you're growing, if you're, anytime you're growing, anytime you're pushing the boundaries, anytime you're trying to reach your potential, there's gonna be a lot of pain involved. I'll point you to another video. I'm going to point to a lot of videos in this one, but I did this video on pain and I talked about loving the pain, embracing the pain, tasting the pain, that, that the pain is your home. The pain, the pain is what makes you feel alive and, know, and you know that you're alive. The pain belongs to you. This is important to embrace these things. So yeah, I think that's all I'm going to say about it this time around. I think there's, like I said, you know, this is a big topic how many <laughs> I avoid it because honestly, like how can I define this? How can I tell you what the ingredients for success are? But those are four of them, okay? Let's go over those four real quick here that I, that I mentioned. And I think that that's just one model for looking at this, but it encompasses so much in there. So the first one is persistence. You gotta be persistent. You gotta be able to keep on going, keep on keeping on. The second one is wisdom. You gotta have wisdom. You gotta know how to change directions. You gotta know how to apply the knowledge that you're gaining in life so that you can actually make progress because doing the same thing over and over again, just being persistent is not enough. 
the third one is to be consistent you got to do it you got to do the same thing over and over <laughs> you got to have persistence and cons consistency so you can grind it out so that you can keep on going and actually make forward progress because you're consistent enough that that you are able to make little moves little by little creep forward move the ball forward and then the fourth one is you got to have some kind of pain tolerance you got to be able to take the pain to take the hits to be able to go through life and and deal with the the things you can't just live in your shell you got to be able to take that pain you got to be able to you know get out there get uncomfortable overcome your fears all of those things so that's what I would say about this I think that's those are if you have those ingredients I think you're gonna reach success and like I said it's your definition of success not someone else's right you define what success is for you and if I had to give it that global definition I'd say it's it's achieving that path of personal growth of maximizing your potential because that's where the true fulfillment in life comes is when you're when you're actually growing and you're you're recognizing you're realizing your potential well that's all I have to say about that I hope you enjoyed this video if you did be sure to click that subscribe button below I do oh two to three new videos a day that's right and you can watch them and you can follow me on my path to success as I grow myself and I reach new boundaries and overcome them just by clicking that subscribe button below I'd love to support you on your personal quest if you've got a comment if you like the video, if you feel like it could benefit someone else, you know what to do. I'll talk to you next time. Take care.